I think we're almost there. How can you tell? All I see are trees. These are the directions on my new solar-powered touchpad. Shh. I've never seen Mango so serious before. He doesn't want us to scare away the mountain gorillas. <laughs> says the mountain gorillas are really shy. We don't want to scare them before we can meet them. Mango's right. They don't know if they're friendly or not. And they can't be too careful. There are only 700 mountain gorillas left in the whole world. 700? That's all? Mostly leaves. The leafless bush means they're close. Wow, this whole forest must be like a giant snack bar. There are leaves everywhere. I don't think we have to whisper anymore. What's that sound? <laughs> We're in trouble now! No, we aren't, guys. The internet says that mountain gorillas are peaceful and they do this to scare away their enemies. But we're not their enemies. We're friends. I think Mango's got an idea. I hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, he thinks Mango's funny. <laughs> so do I. Did you hear that funny sound Mango made? <laughs> What's he saying to the other gorillas, Ben? That's Keith. He's a silverback. That means he's the leader of this troop of gorillas. He wants them to see the funny thing that Mango does. Don't be upset, Mango. The gorillas are being nice, and we're their guests. <laughs> wow, they like you, Mango. They really, really like you. You're a gorilla superstar. Oh, yeah. Uh, did the gorillas just run away with Mango? Yes, we've got to go get him back. <laughs> we're trying to keep up, Mango. It'd be easier if we were gorillas. I think we found the gorillas in Mango. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Wow, this is big. Keith thinks Mango is the best, and he wants him to put on a show for the other gorillas. Well, I guess it's showtime. Good evening, gorillas and lady gorillas. <laughs> I've got to record this. I know why you're here. And here he is, Mango. <laughs> I guess that's it. No, wait, there's more. There is. Hey, that 
That's my cue. I'm on. What's Ben gonna do? Well, whatever it is, I don't want to miss it. Ready when you are, Cowboy Mango. Woof, woof. I hope this works. I don't think gorillas know about cowboys. Hey guys, it's getting late. We have to get back to our tent before dark. I think Keith wants Mango to stay. You think? Here, you can have my solar powered touchpad. So you don't have to be without Mango. <laughs> Keith wants you to have this as a souvenir. It's his favorite back scratching stick. Thank you so much, Keith. Now, come on, guys. We gotta hurry. Wow, you were a real hit, Mango. Well, I wasn't surprised. Why wouldn't gorillas go ape for Mango? <laughs> Get it? Gorillas? Go ape? Gorillas go ape? The Adventures of Annie and Ben yeah. Mango wants to know why we came to this island. This is Crete. There are ancient ruins. That means really old buildings everywhere. They were built to honor the Greek gods. Like Hercules. We met him in Greece. Yeah, just like Hercules. Thousands and thousands of years ago, Crete was ruled by King Minos, who was the son of Zeus, the top god. Minos was famous for having a maze built that nobody could escape. What's a maze, Annie? It's like a puzzle. Only it's big enough for people to walk in. The trick is to find your way out. Minos's maze was supposed to be the hardest maze ever to get out of. Of course, there was also a huge, scary... I hear Mango, but I don't see him. Found him! Mango, are you okay? <laughs> he fell on some soft moss. You stay here. Oh, wow. Look at the tunnels. Oh, my gosh. It's another picture of King Minos. It's a secret entrance. I love secret entrances. Come on. Oh, my gosh. I think this is the maze of King Minos. But who lit all the torches? That didn't sound good. We can't leave that way. Maybe we can find whoever lights the torches and they can show us the way out. Uh-oh, dead end. Uh-oh, I got all excited and didn't pay attention to where I was going. We're kind of lost in the maze. <laughs> Didn't you say this was the hardest maze ever to get out of? It is. <laughs> Who's that? Remember that huge, scary thing I was going to tell you about? Yeah? That's him! The Minotaur! <laughs> Run! No, wait! You don't know the way out! None of us do! This always happens. You don't sound mean or dangerous. Like the stories? They're just stories. All I want is to get out of this maze. Help me find our friends, and we'll all get out together. Really? You mean that? 
You won't just run away and leave me here like everybody else does. They do? Right after they scream in fear. I won't do that, okay? I'm Annie. My friends are Ben and Mango. I'm Stavros. We've got to get out of here! Where's Annie? Well, what if the guy with the cowhead has her? Yeah, the, the Minotaur! Come on, we've got to go save her! This looks like the right way. They all look like the right way. I was the first one in the maze when King Minos built it. If we can find Ben, we can get out. Ben! Mango! We're here, Annie! We'll save you! Yeah! Uh, another wall! Uh, and now I've lost Mango! Oh, there you are! We're on the other side of the wall! We? Who's with you, Annie? Stavros, the Minotaur! It's okay, he's a friend! Hello! If I could just get to the top of the wall, I could get us all together! No problem, I'm part bull! Whee! That was perfect! And fun! Hi guys! I can see most of the maze from up here! Everybody follow me! Okay, Ben and Mango, turn left. Stavros, turn right. I see the center of the maze. You guys are... Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I'm all right. I'm yes. fine. I'm fine. Whew, I'm good. Here I come. Catch me. Stavros, this is Ben and Mango. Ben and Mango, this is Stavros. Sorry about running away like that. Happens all the time, but you're the first to apologize for it. Mango wants to know, what do we do now? We use your nose to sniff the trails of all the people who found their way out. That's a great idea. <laughs> I've got the scent, and I know where they went. Follow that nose! And the nose knows! Ta-da! Oh, freedom! At last! It's been thousands of years. You should explore, like we do. Go places, see things, have fun! That's a great idea! Here, take my compass. It'll help you find your way wherever you go. If it were not for you three, I would still be lost in the maze. Take this, Annie. King Minos had it minted to celebrate the maze. Oh, thank you. This is beautiful. Goodbye, friends. I hope we meet again. Goodbye. Bye. Have fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, was that fun or what? It sure was. In fact, it was amazing. Get it? Amazing! Oh, Ben, bad joke! <laughs>
on, Ben. Let's get some flowers. A cat! Looks like Mango has a new friend. Hi, kitty. Ah, oh, Annie. This is Lily, and she wants to know if you'll give her a home. Can we? If we were at home, she could live with us. But we're traveling. <laughs> Mango thinks someone in the flower market might give her a home. Well, she is a really sweet kitty. Let's take her with us and see. Shoot, shoot, go away. What beautiful flowers. Thank you. Would you like a bouquet? The ones on your head look nice. I'm Annie, this is Ben and Mango, and our new friend, Lily. I am Rune, it is good to meet you, but I can't sell you these. The mice have been nibbling on the stalks and petals. Oh, is that a problem here? Yes, the mice hide in the flowers and eat the stems and the petals and... Wow! Lily! She must not destroy any flowers. We have enough problems with the mice. I can't smell Lily Mango. All I can smell is flowers. And, and, ah! Uh, shoot! We must get your cat out of here. But she's not my cat. We're looking for a home for her. She cannot live here. I'll help you find her. Okay, guys, it's a big market, so spread out and look for Lily. <coughs> Come on, Rune. We'll look this way. Ah, yes, the orchids. An excellent choice. It's no good. My nose is no good here. <gasps> Lily! No! Come back! like vanilla ice cream. Of course. These are vanilla orchids. We get vanilla flavor from their seed pods. Ben, are you okay? I sneezed myself across the market. Hey, do I smell vanilla ice cream? Oof. Poor Ben. Do you want to wait outside so you won't sneeze? Good, good idea, Annie. Good luck with Lily. Have you seen Mango? He's in the roses. What is that horrible sound? Mango! There you are. You've been a very bad kitty. I accept your apology, but you still have to go. Are you okay, Mango? <coughs> hey, Annie! What's going on in there? What do you mean, Ben? We got Lily. Yeah, but I've been watching mice run out of the flower market since I got out here. Here, hold Lily. I need to check something. I'll bet this has something to do with you. Aha! I am right. The flowers are perfect. There are no more mice here. Lily chased all the mice out of the market. Oh, Lily says she's from a family of mousers. That's what they do. They chase mice. Lily says that's why she has such large ears and a long tail. I have changed my mind. Lily will be my cat and live here. All the merchants will take care of her. You can spend your days chasing mice, drinking milk, 
and getting pet. Okay? <laughs> Mango likes that too. Now he wants to be a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad you brought me Lily. So I have this for you. A Lily for a Lily. Thank you, Rune. Come, Lily. You have mice to chase. Meow, meow. Wow. I'm glad everything turned out okay. It could have been a catastrophe. Get it? A catastrophe? Meow, <laughs> ben, meow, that a joke. <laughs> of Annie and Ben. <laughs> we just made it! It would have been real bad if we missed this train, guys. Why's that, Annie? Because this is Russia's Trans-Siberian Railway. They started building it over 125 years ago, and now it's the longest train ride in the world. This line is 9,289 kilometers. That is 5,753 miles. It connects Moscow to Vladivostok on the Pacific Ocean. Also Mongolia, China, and Korea. Uh, thank you? Where did he come from? I didn't even hear him. Bye! Yeah, Mango thinks he's a spy, like in an old movie. I think Mango's right. Come on, he's my age. You're thinking like that because you guys watch too many of those spy movies. Don't let your imaginations run away with you. I agree. We'll keep an eye on him. Excuse me, do you mind if I share your table? Not at all. Be my guest. Thank you. I'm Annie. I am Igor. Spiny. You're right. Igor is a spy name. You sure know a lot about the Trans-Siberian Railway. I am on this train every three months when I visit my grandmother in Vladivostok. Did you write all that down, Mango? I only speak, Monkey. I can't read it. Excuse me, Mango wants to know if you're going to eat that banana. The countryside is beautiful. Siberia is beautiful, but very cold in winter. Do you have any fours? Go fish. I like your hat, Igor. Where did you get it? It was a gift from my grandmother. Now, I have a question for you. Okay, what do you want to know? Why are your dog and monkey doing that? They're playing spy train. They watch a lot of old spy movies. So does my grandmother. That is why she gave me this hat. Do you have any eights? Woo! That is a huge lake! And so beautiful. It is Lake Baikal. It is the oldest lake in the entire world. Thanks for the information, Igor. It is also the largest freshwater lake in the world. That's amazing, Igor. Michael is home to more than 1,700 species of plants and animals, two-thirds of which can be found nowhere else in the world. Wow! Igor sure knows a lot about Russia and Siberia. Yeah, he knows how to scare monkeys, too. <laughs> you guys are taking the spy game way too seriously. We've never been on a train that stopped for a picnic. This food is delicious. That is kasha, traditional Russian porridge. My grandmother makes better. What does traditional mean, Annie? That means the people have been doing it a long, long time, Ben. Oh, I get it. Like, eating is traditional with me. Woof. Sure, I can sniff Igor's bag. If Igor's got spy secrets in his bag, 
Then spy secrets smell like fish. Ah. Hello, Annie. Hi, Igor. Could you tell Ben and Mango it's time for bed? Ben. Mango. Bedtime. Okie doke. Good night, Igor. We'll spy on you in the morning. Sleep well, everyone. Thanks, Igor. You are welcome. End of the line. We're in Vladivostok. Wow! All the way from Moscow to the Pacific Ocean on one train. All packed. Hey, where's Mango? Don't you have him? Oh my gosh, we have to find him before the train leaves. I'll bet Igor has him. Igor has who? I'll check the closet. Mango's missing and Ben thinks he's hiding in your closet. Well, he has been there before. Nope, no Mango. I hope you find him. But before you go, I have something for you. Mango, what were you doing in there? He was playing spy. I think we can stop playing that game now. Oof. So that's what smelled like fish. It is caviar. Fish eggs from sturgeons in the Caspian Sea. My grandmother loves it. Russian caviar is the best in the world and is as valuable as gold. That is why I always keep my bag close. And I have a gift for you, Annie. So you remember your trick. A matryoshka. A matryoshka? It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Igor. These are very special. Matryoshkas are dolls inside of dolls. Each one is smaller than the one before. Do svidaniya, my friends. That is Russian for goodbye. Do svidaniya, Igor. Still think Igor is a spy, guys? Well, I don't think he's a spy, but there was something fishy about his bag. Get it? Caviar? Fish eggs? Something fishy? Oh, ben, that <laughs> joke. The Adventures of Annie and Ben. Uh, there it is! Where they keep the rhino babies? Baby rhinos are called calves, just like baby cows. Here in South Africa, this is a very important place. They raise orphan rhinos. Orphans are babies without parents. These calves are kept safe until they're big enough to live on their own out in the wild. There are only 5,000 black rhinos left in the wild. Each one is precious to us. Hello, I'm Tao. Welcome to our nursery. Hi, Tao. I'm Annie. This is Ben, and that's Mango. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Kago and Kaya like your mango. It's good to see them happy. They are our newest orphans. I found them only yesterday. They just said they're not orphans. Your dog understands them? Yes. Ben speaks most animal languages. They were playing hide and seek. And, well, they hit really good. Their mother couldn't find them before Tao did. If she's still out there, we have to find her. Ben and I can go with you. Ben's a great tracker. I've got a nose that knows. 
I could smell their mother on them. That is excellent. But I need someone to watch Kaya and Kago while we are gone. Don't worry. Mango can watch them. They like him. Are you sure you're old enough to drive? If there are no roads, I can drive. Now hang on and try to stay dry. Uh oh! Here comes a big, big river. Do not worry. The river is shallow, and it's only dangerous if you stop. What happens if you stop? Those happen. I'll sit here. Ah, oh, big brave Ben. You want to sit on my lap? Kaya's mother doesn't know where her babies are. She's probably scared and worried. I know, and that is why we have to be very careful. Rhinos are nice animals, but they have very bad eyesight and really good noses. They smell before they see. If they don't know what they're smelling, they often think they're in danger and will attack to protect themselves and their calves. I think I smell her. I think she's here. Woo! She smells her babies on Tao. She thinks you have them. Annie, Tao does have her babies. Woof, woof. Then let's lead her back to them. Excellent idea, Annie. And I do love a good chase through the bush. Come on, Mommy! Let's go see your babies! Wow! And I don't mean the beep beep kind of horn. Is it true a rhino's horn is made of hair? It's kind of true. A rhino's horn is made of keratin, the same stuff that's in hair. Quick, turn right! Sweet, yes. But the monkey adds a touch of weird. That's Mango's job. <laughs> <laughs> you may come back anytime for a drink or cabbage. You are always welcome. And the same goes for you. This was so much fun. I almost don't want to leave. Neither does Mango. <laughs> gave Mango Kago's ribbon as a souvenir. It looks like Mango won the blue ribbon for best rhino babysitter. The new jump. Mango! The Adventures of Annie and Ben. Wow! That's bigger than I thought. 
It has to be big. It was built by Gustav Eiffel as the gateway entrance to the 1889 World's Fair. Smile! Oops! Sorry, Annie. That's okay, Ben. We'll take another. Where's Mango? Uh-oh! Monkey photo bomb. What? There's a monkey in my picture. Monkey! I'm so sorry. Mango's a monkey photo hog. You look good. Hi, I'm Annie. This is Ben. And you've already met Mango. I'm Justine. I didn't mean to shout at your monkey. <sighs> My grandma Mel lives in the United States and she misses Paris. So I want the perfect picture to send to her. Mango! My camera! Give Justine back her camera! The stairs. Whew. That's the longest stairway I've ever been on in my life. And this is just the first floor. Wow, a glass floor. Look how far up we are. We oui. and the eyes also an ice rink. No way! <laughs> Mango! I almost had him! I almost had him! Thanks! My belly is so cold. He's climbing high air. Not again. To the stairs. Encore. Encore is French for again. Encore. That was a lot faster than the first floor. This is the main viewing area for the Eiffel Tower. Telescopes! We can find your monkey with this. If we have change. I'm a dog. Don't look at me. Voila! Voila is French for there. Or in this case, here we go. Where are you, Mango? I know you're out there, you monkey maniac. <coughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, you think you're a funny monkey. Well, we'll see who laughs last. To the elevator! Encore! Hey, we made it! Restaurant? Oui, it's the Jules Verne restaurant. Very yeah, good food. Jules Verne was a French writer. He wrote 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The submarine story you read to me? Yeah. So he writes and cooks. <laughs> no, he passed away a century ago. But everyone loves his stories so much. They name the restaurant after him. There he is! <laughs> He's taking our photo. Then let's pose. <laughs> the 
There he goes. Yeah, but we're ahead of him this time. It's a race to the top. Good shots? <laughs> this was a fun chase, but you should never take someone's camera without asking. <laughs> what beautiful pictures! Wow! Only a monkey on the Eiffel Tower could get those pictures! My grandmama will love this. Mango, you planned oh. this. Merci beaucoup, Mango. Merci beaucoup means thank you very much. Come, let us have lunch and I will email the pictures to my grandmama. Yeah, I'm starving. Voila! Grandmama has her pictures. But this picture is just for us. A souvenir of our day at the Eiffel Tower. Souvenir is a French word that means to remember. That's not the only souvenir I'm taking with me. I've got a frozen belly from the ice rink and sore paws from the stairs. Thanks, man. <laughs> Mango, he's a funny monkey. <laughs> The monkeys, the clown. The Adventures of Annie and Ben. <laughs> Mango says we're close. Wow, this is it! Ellis Beach! How beautiful! And we're the only ones here! I thought there'd be other people, or dogs. Or monkeys from the jungle. They don't have monkeys in Australian jungles, Mango. Monkeys in Australia are like you. Tourists. No people, no dogs, and no monkeys. Kind of weird for a nice beach like this. Wahoo! <laughs> oh my goodness! What's coming out of the jungle? All I know is it's not a monkey, but it sounds big. Sips up! Look <laughs> out! I'm catching a wave and I'm never letting go. Kangaroo! Surfing kangaroo! <laughs> Mango wants to know if she catches the wave, what's she going to do with it? That! Don't cut me short, I'm riding a big one! Goofy foot! Annie, what's up? In surfing, a goofy foot is your right foot. Wow, she's so good! Nobody hangs ten like surfing <laughs> Sam! Whoa, nearly wiped out. Call the tower. I'm coming in for a landing. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am that good. What? Oh. Bravo! Wonderful! Very cool! G'day, I'm Sam. Samantha Roo. Who are you? I'm Annie. This is Ben, my dog, and that's Mango. You're a great surfer. Thanks, mate. But where is everybody today? I think we're everybody today. <laughs> it's a flag with a shark on it. It explains everything. Can't surf when there's a shark out there. Yep, there he is. Moving about like he's waiting for his lunch. Speaking of lunch, care to join me? Why? Are you coming apart? Oh, Ben, bad joke. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever heard. Brilliant, mate. <laughs> Why, are you coming to power? I like her. She laughs, laughs at my jokes. Well, I'm not coming to power. 
But this sandwich is one part for each of us. My dream has been to surf every great beach in the world. What stopped you? Look at all that water I'd have to cross. I can't fly. I can't take a boat. Why not? It takes money to travel the world. I'm a kangaroo. We don't have money. What on earth is that? That's my didgeridoo. Have a listen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looks like we're not the only ones who like your music. Oh dear, the shark! That shark's never gonna go away. It's probably hungry. If we could feed it, it might go away. You think it's got a hankering for a tuna? Well, if it doesn't, I do. It's so big. How are we gonna get it out to the shark? <laughs> No, we can't take it out on the surfboard. That's a bad idea. Hmm, we need something to launch it way out into the water. As far away from the beach as possible. How about a slingshot? Is there anything you don't have in your pouch? Well, I'm pretty sure I don't have any shark repellent. <laughs> to the left a little. A little more. Load the fish! Fire the fish! Brilliant! It's a bullseye! Or a shark's eye, I guess. It would be if it was a shark, but it's not a shark. What? what? But what about the fin? Both sharks and dolphins have fins on their backs. But you need to look at their tails. A shark's tail goes up and down, but a dolphin's tail is flat. Whoever put the shark flag up made the same mistake we did. <laughs> Can you understand him, Ben? Sure. His name's Dan. He's a fan of yours, Sam. A Sam fan. He swam here just to watch you surf. I have fans? <laughs> Dan says he swims all over the world to watch great surfers. That's Sam's dream, to surf all over the world. <laughs> Dan says he's going to Hawaii next, and he wants to know if you'd like to hitch a ride. Are you kidding? Let's go, Dan! Thanks, mate. You've all been such good company. I want you to keep my didgeridoo as a souvenir. Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye, Dan. Good luck in Hawaii. Well, that worked out great. You mean the Sam Fan Dan plan? Oh, Ben, bad joke. Hey, Sam laughed at all my jokes. I just lost the Ben Fan Sam to Sam Fan Dan. <laughs> I agree, Mango. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh! The Adventures of Annie and Ben. Can't believe we're finally here. Mumbai, India! Oh my gosh! That's the home of Amitabh Bachchan! And there's the home of Priyanka Chopra! I can't believe it! That's where Shah Rukh Khan lives! Yeah, Mango wants to know, who are those people? Come on, I'll show you! There are movie stars in... Bollywood! Bollywood? You mean Hollywood, don't you, Annie? No, Bollywood. That's what they call the movie business in India. Every year, they make almost four times as many movies in Bollywood than they do in Hollywood. 
Wow, that's a lot of movies. Perfect, fantastic, amazing. Thank you so much. I have been waiting all my life. I'm sure you have, little girl. But I was talking to the monkey. You'll be a star. Your name will be in lights. What is your name? His name's Mango. He's our friend. Ah, Mango already has fans. Welcome. Come and see your new star in my new film, A Monkey Story. Wow, we get to see them make a movie. Hi, I'm Annie. Would you like to join us? Why? Are we coming apart? Woof, woof. <laughs> That's Ben. He likes bad jokes. Well, I don't. I don't need help from your famous monkey. I can do this myself. Wow, I'm sorry she feels that way. Come on, Annie. I want to see Mango make a movie. In this scene, you stop the elephant stampede and save the Madonna farm. <laughs> wow, this should be exciting. I would be perfect as the head banana on the farm. You know... If you want to meet the director, I'm sure Mango would help you. I don't need help. I don't need friends. I can break into movies by myself. Uh, everybody needs friends. Not me. Right on the set. Cue the elephants. And action. Hmm. Where is my star? Where is Mango? Somebody check the bottom of the elephant's feet. There he is! Hugging the banana girl! There is no banana girl in my movie! Send the girl away! But keep the banana costume for the big musical scene. You are only a star because you're a tiny hairy monkey. You don't have to be a banana. We can help you. I don't need your help. I can do this by myself. But you don't have to. You look good, Mango. You know, I should do a movie about a talking dog. But who would believe it? Okay, we do this again. Only this time, the elephants come from that direction. Right on the set. Cue the elephants. Action! Banana costume is as slippery as a banana peel. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. They're destroying the set. <laughs> my jungle, my banana farm, gone. What will I do now? Well, if you do a movie about a little girl, you don't need a jungle set. That is brilliant. I will call it. A little girl movie. And Neha can be the little girl. Of course. She will be my new star. Somebody clean up this mess. Oh my gosh. I'm going to star in a movie. But I couldn't have done it without you. That's what friends are for. And you know what I always say. Cue the big musical number! Woof, woof, woof! The three of us like to see the world A dog, a monkey, and a little girl And that's the way I always wanted to stay We see new places and we have great fun Exciting adventures as we follow the sun And everywhere we go we always find a friend One thing I've always found Friends make my world go round I'm her faithful dog and she's my best friend And Mango's my pal to the very end 
there's always room for one more buddy or two. Forget you or what you taught me. I will always be your friend, and we want your first ever autograph as a souvenir. I'd love to. Yeah, you're going to be a star because your first roll had a peel. Get it? A peel and a peel because you had a banana costume on. Get it? Oh, <laughs> bad joke, Ben. That is brilliant. You must write the script. Of Annie and Ben, the crown jewels were awesome. I love the Tower of London. <laughs> Mango, put that back. That belongs to England. Is is this the kids' stairway? It's so small. It was built almost a thousand years ago when people were shorter. Hello? Anybody out there? Did you hear that? Hello? Anyone? We're here! How do we get to you? Push the dark stone. <laughs> Got it! Hello? Are you okay? <laughs> Annie! Dark! Scary! Just clap twice. Unfortunately, I find myself unable to clap. Oh my goodness! What happened to your body? A very good question. Perhaps you and your frightened animals can help me find the answer. Oh! Hey! I know this guy! Uh, head! That's Frankenstein! He's a movie star! Oh, oh. You're famous! Please call me Frank. And yes, I'm famous. Famous for being a monster. People are afraid of monsters, especially famous ones. Frank, where's the rest of you? Well, I'm pretty sure it's with Pookie, my dog. Hey! He's got a dog! Do you have a monkey too? No. Please don't do that. Long story short, Pookie wanted to play fetch. I was tired and I woke up this way. My body is elsewhere playing fetch with Pookie. We just have to find Pookie and we find your body. Exactly. I believe he went out his doggy door. Hmm. Pookie isn't a chihuahua, is he? Small dogs get caught in my toes. Come on, guys. We need to find Frank's body. We'd better hurry. Frank's already ahead of us. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Woof. Ahead? Ahead? <laughs> Pen likes to tell bad jokes. Hmm. He does it well. I believe your monkey is trying to tell us something. <laughs> it's a leg? Not just any leg. My right leg. Ah, yes. I can travel better now. Hey! 
Now you've got a leg to stand on! That was a particularly bad joke. Excellent job, Ben. Come on! If we've got a leg, the rest of Fran could be close. There! Pookie could be in there! It's our playroom! Oh my gosh! It's gigantic! Mm, big monster, big dog, big playroom. Annie, he's got the same toys we have! Only super-sized! Why haven't I ever read about you and Pookie living here? Nobody but you three know we're here. I don't want to scare anyone. Pookie and I stay inside during the day. We only leave at night when nobody's out. You don't have any friends? P Pookie doesn't have any dogs to run with? No, no friends. And I know Pookie would love to make a doggy friend or two. Well, it's clear that Pookie's not here. Where else could he go? Outside! Boy, I wish I could dig like that! <laughs> Where would Pookie go? Hyde Park! That's where we play fetch at night! <sighs> I couldn't find him either! The sun will be up soon. People will see Pookie. He'll scare them. They don't know how sweet he is. <coughs> Pookie! <coughs> I'm glad to see you too, Pookie. You know, they're just like us when we play. Well, not exactly like us. We have to get out of here before the people and their dogs arrive for their morning run. Oh, Pookie still wants to play. Then he should, and he will. What? Everybody's coming with their dogs. Get ready. <laughs> and amongst the dogs. <laughs> the dog's going to eat us. <laughs> now, throw the ball, Frank. Yeah. Aren't you oh, Frankenstein? I love your movies! Oh, I love his movies too. You're a fabulous actor. Can I get They're not scared. They movie. like Pookie. They like me. However, did you know? Dog people like other dog people, no matter how big they are. And who doesn't like a movie star? Pookie wants you to have this, so you will always remember us. You're our first ever friends. I promise you, we won't be your last. Would you like to run with the other dogs in the park, Pookie? <laughs> I think I'll join them. Why? Are they coming apart? I love that joke. And I love running with the big dogs. Wait for me, Pookie. It's a nice day, Frank. Couldn't agree more, Annie.